distinguished guests. It's a pleasure to be back in Kuala Lumpur and to see so many guests. Uh, take a precious work day evening to come. I'm going to begin the activities tonight by doing a brain scan on you to see the amount of brain damage that we have. <laughs> Kindly take a pen, pencil, whatever object you have, hold it with your left hand. Make sure it's a left hand, huh? Alright. And by looking at the object and aligning it with any vertical line in front of you. Would you like to see the line, make it same line, and then when it's aligned, suddenly cover right eye with the right hand. Yes, you notice something? Seems to shift for some of you. Now repeat it three or four times. But don't compare your answers because we have different degree of brain damage. Alright. Once we think we are satisfied, we can estimate how much it has moved. Change to the right hand. Look at the same line, align it, and again, once it's aligned, your eyes are not squinting, they are open. Then suddenly cover the left eye with the left hand and repeat it a few times. I'm going to begin the diagnosis very shortly. How many of you, when you cover the right eye, it seems to move more? Good. When you look around the audience, you will see majority. Majority are like this. I have a good answer for you. Good news. You are perfectly normal adults. <laughs> <laughs> the good part is coming. Perfectly normal adults, slightly brain damage. <laughs> what is slightly? Huh? No, it's a joke. Don't take it serious. I saw some of them get scared. <laughs> Second answer. Some of us, when we cover the left eye, then it moved more. There will be less people of this category. Hands up. Alright, look at them. Even better news for you, you are still thinking like a child. <laughs> Third group. Cover right eye, cover left eye. There was no difference. It seems to move about the same or did not move at all in both cases. You cover right, cover left and there was no difference. Anyone? Small number, uh, you have the best news. Two possible explanations. Number one, you are quite creative using both halves of your brain, hence very successful in life, or you may need to go for an eye check. <laughs> <laughs> for 20 years, I was doing research on how the human being can be productive. As a psychotherapist, we found that many people have lives where a lot of potential inside them have been frustrated. As a result, they end up frustrated, not well, cannot manage their feelings and so on. We found the reason why, and this activity will illustrate this. Huh? So help me play this game. Just numbers are appearing on the screen, 1,000, 1,040, 2,000. You have to add. But you need to shout. The louder you shout, the better is the learning. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout. Thousand. Alright, now add. Thousand for me. You gotta add, gotta add, huh? Keep adding. Add a 10 cannot be 5,000. 
what to do. <laughs> Nothing wrong with your maths. One time in, in uh, Mandarin Hotel, 300 accountants at the annual conference, I showed this trick. 300 accountants shouted 5,000. <laughs> then when I showed the answer, I saw some of the accountants take out the calculator to double check. <laughs> Nothing wrong with your maths. This is a basic phenomenon in psychology. We call this perception. So let me explain it. Huh? I gave you pattern of thousands. Remember that? Then in the second round, before I came to this number, I intentionally stopped. I pause, and I ask you, is it the same? You agree, right? Now, just before I put this number, many of you say to yourself, I think 3,000 is coming. In psychology, we call this self-talk. Self-talk. We talk to ourselves as human beings. Huh? Now, I keep pressing in yourself, or you will have said, I think 4,000 is coming. Okay, now you are ready for my trick. After 4,000, what are we expecting? 5,000. So I put a 10, audiences all over the world inevitably will say 5,000. Nothing wrong with you. We call this perception. What is perception? We take in data from outside world, we see, we hear, touch, smell, and we interpret from our mind. As we interpret, we could be healthy or unhealthy. In an average day, a human being has 60,000 thoughts going through his mind. We call that cognitions. Of the 60,000, 80% of our cognitions are negative. That is, 80% of the thoughts going through us through the 24-hour day are negative. In the research all over the world, including Alaska, right, we found how to help the human being manage it. So within two hours, I hope to impart to you the 20 years of research. Usually, we